Hello all, today we are taking tutorial on 3D modeling and export URDF of a robotic manipulator. We are using uh, Autodesk Inventor for 3D modeling and uh, for exporting it to URDF we are using Floridworks. So we are using Autodesk Inventor Professional 2000 version here. So I am going to draw a basic uh, part and show you how to extrude it. So before build, uh, building the part we have to select the new and uh, new standard part we have to create. Next thing we have to select the plane which in which we want to create our sketch. Before uh, building the 3D structure we have to create the 2D sketch of that. Uh, with the combination of lines and circles we can create almost any shape. So I am going to build a basic rectangle figure here. So we can give the uh, dimensions directly in the tab near to the okay 25 mm. next thing we finish the sketch so this is how we basically create the 2d st uh, 2d sketch for our 3d model so i will be um, uh, copying a previously created sketch and showing show you how to ex uh, extrude it so this is a previously created 3D model. I have selected the plane which we want this model. <laughs> so we need to extrude it to about uh, 12 mm above the plane. So there it is. We have our extruded uh, 3D structure here. That's all. So previously we created a 3D structure. Now we are going to assemble the previously created 3D structure to form a assembly. For that we have to select a new assembly. So basically I will be showing, uh, I will be importing two parts and then I will be showing how to make build a assembly with that. So these are the two parts. So the rectangle part is the uh, base here. So first we are going to uh, make the origin of the plane and the origin of the rectangular base. So we are selecting coincident here. Next thing we have to make the two parts. So we select the uh, the concentric circle we have to make it by concentric circles we have to uh, make the axis align to, uh, together so that's what we are doing here next thing we have to uh, select the bottom plane of the circular part and the top plane of the rectangular part to bring them together and form an assembly so this is the example assembly we will show like this we have created the uh, full model which will be showing in a minute this is the full model, uh, total model we have created. So we'll show the isometric view here. So this is the uh, finally uh, final assembled model here. So we have our uh, revolute joint here. The first revolute joint, the bottom. Next we have our prismatic joint here. And finally the third, uh, I'll take the top view for that. Finally, the third revolution, third and final revolution joint here. That's all. So this is the first revolution joint for the base, and this is the uh, second revolution joint. That's all. 3D modeling in Autodesk Inventor is quite easy. So we have used uh, Inventor for 3D modeling, and later we imported this assembly in SolidWorks and exported URDF. To export URDF, open SOLIDWORKS, then click on File, Export as URDF. We will get the URDF Explorer. Then we have to give the first link name, that is the base link. Give the link name, base link, and select the link components, and give the number of child link as 1. We have one child link for the base link, that is link 1. 
double click on the child created and this will be opened we can uh, give the link name as link 1 that is the child link of the base link first child link of the base link then select the link components give the join type as revolute joint and give child as 1 then uh, add a child link for link 1 and give it as link 2 give it as a prismatic join give the join name and select the link components then add link 3 and similarly uh, give it as a revolute join and select the link components of link 3 click on preview and export we will get this window here we can select the first join that is r1 and we can define the limits upper and lower limits effort and velocity click on each joint and give the upper and lower limit the second joint p1 is a prismatic joint so uh, we are giving it in meter uh, the lower limit is 0 and upper limit is 0 0.235 effort is 100 velocity is 1 Similarly, for the last joint R2, the upper and lower limits are in variance. Lower limit is 0, upper limit is 3.14, effort is 100 and velocity is 1. Uh, similarly, we can give R1 also. Then click on next, uh, then click on export URDF fan meshes. After this step, you will get the URDF folder in your machine. Copy the URDF folder. And it is a ROS package. You can copy the ROS package to a ROS workspace in your Ubuntu machine for the simulation of robotic arm. Thanks for watching.